Hey love, so I'm about to show you all how I went from short hair to this half up, half down with only a $50 pack of clip-ins from Amazon. So after I wash my hair, I'm going to use my leave-in conditioner and a hair oil of my choice. Today I'm using the carrot oil to seal that conditioner in. This is what keeps your hair moisturized. Make sure you're sealing your leave-in conditioner into your hair. I just wanted to drop that quick gem for you all. And clearly y'all can see I was combing through that. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to be using this heat protectant from Natural Ting's Hair Care. Y'all, I love this brand i will have all of the information down below but i'm just gonna blow dry my hair out as much as possible okay now so let's go ahead and set the foundation which is just the half up half down look i am actually just going to braid it up as y'all are about to see now just braid the back up um actually i did separate some leave out but this is optional because depending on how you do the top part of your hair you do not have to do the leave out i actually ended up putting the leave out back later but yeah braid it down girl and i love this style because it is a protective style and now i just go in clipping the hair in the back to see how full it will look because i was kind of skeptical when i first bought it honestly i was like this might not be a lot but because the texture of the hair i was like this is perfect now i just wanted to show you all the clips because you can get them from your local beauty supply store for like a dollar or two dollars and you can just make this your own it is double width and all the information for this pack of hair um pack of clip-ins will be in the description box So as you can see, I put the longer pieces in the back or at the bottom. And then I went in and put the smaller pieces because it will just kind of fill it in where it needs to be filled in at. And y'all, when I tell y'all, I was starting to feel myself right there. Okay, because this hair is really good quality for one. But it also gives that texture that it looks like your real hair. Now, this is where I say it's optional to straighten your hair or to not leave any leave out out it all depends on how you do at the top if i were to do this again and i were to leave leave out i would probably have roller set my hair that way it can be more of a protective style and then i also would have dyed the hair i did get it in a 1b i believe or it was a natural color and it just needed to be darker because my hair was dyed jet black but needless to say it definitely i got it to work i got it to blend i got it to look okay and y'all will see that in the video all right so i started going in with some edge control now this was the biggest mistake i ever did i'm not using edge booster anymore because i found something way better this braid and lock gel by natural things is way thicker um and it's not like a really really like thick sensation it's more so that it's not water-based versus the edge booster it is a little water-based so it does transform your hair i did use my pattern brush to brush it up and it held instead of reverting my hair um because my hair is curly it is going to revert so yeah check them out it's going to be down below i'll leave all the information and right now before black history month they are doing a 20 percent off so i'll leave that 20 percent off code as well Okay, now that I got it slicked up into this little bun, I just used the rest of what I had. And I believe it was just this, this strip that I had left. I didn't have any more left from this bundle. Now this video is longer because I am going to show you all another way that I did it because I did end up ordering another pack of hair. 
Um, but for $50, I was like, why not? So overall, I spent $100 on this hairstyle. But for the first, this part, I only spent $50, okay? I was like, I'm, I'm feeling this. So I just wrapped it up into a bun. And I was kind of struggling right there. But it was more so about placement. And I'm a perfectionist. So, of course, I was going to keep doing it until I got it right. Then I went around my bun with some braiding hair that I had left over because I thought it was going to be the best way to um, make it look more natural, but at the same time look full. And to me, it blended pretty well. If you could see by my hair being a different color, it didn't blend as well. And I'm about to show you all a different solution because you don't have to do it with the bun. But um, like I said earlier, if I were to go back and do this, I would have probably roller set the top versus curling the top. That way it will actually hold because I'm not going to lie. As soon as I got to that humidity, I'm in Texas and the humidity be so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> now look at it. It came out so cute. I'm in love with this hairstyle. Now, if it wasn't for the humidity, I would have been good right there. But because, like I said, as soon as I went outside, it started transforming my hair. I ended up buying another bundle. And I don't really know if to call this a bundle or a clipping pack. But yeah, so I ended up buying another pack and I did want to show you all how it looked. Okay, so this is a couple days. Y'all see, well, it's looking like this because I have a habit of twisting my hair like that. I talked about that before. Anyway, so doing my method actually worked quite a bit as far as leaving, um, as far as tying it down, but because I'm about to redo it right now, um, I really didn't care about it looking decent. So as y'all can see, I did order some more hair because I told y'all I had just got one pack. So this was all just one and then this, but I ordered another one and because it was Amazon Prime, it came in two days. Um, I, well actually a day because a full like 24 hours plus some because I ordered it late at night. So see, I have this habit of doing this. Like does anybody else do this? I know some people pull at their edges. Um, and stuff like that, but I just have a habit. I just love this sound. Listen, I think that's why I like ASMRs. Anyways, <laughs> I had to go ahead and oil my scalp again while my hair was down. And then I just went in and added these clip-ins, just pieces. You kind of have to play with this. Um, I did not use all of this hair, I think. Which y'all have seen, I actually pulled out some of those clips. I didn't need all of those clips. I just played with it until I liked it. I was saying I wish that this was a little bit flatter so but I don't have enough bobby pins or the right bobby pins so I'm trying to just kind of push that down um I should have did another method but uh, as of right now it looks pretty decent it's not even that bad so I'm like put a pony put it in a ponytail right here and have like a, a, a different look because you know like when people have the ponytails and have like the bubbles so instead of having like all the bubbles I don't want to put a ponytail and then fluff it out. So this is how it came out. I think it came out really cute. You definitely have to play around with the clips to get your desired look. But this is pretty much how I made the, my short hair go into a half up, half down. And I'm in love with it. Let me know what you think. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one.